Welcome back to Tuesday Entrepreneurship. You are watching the Y254 channel, specifically Y in the Morning. And you're with me, Joy Mochache. If you want to interact with me, you can do so on specific platforms. That is Joy underscore Mochache. Karibu Nisana once again. And remember, if you want to talk to us about any entrepreneurship questions that you have for the guys that you've seen here on set, especially from the wonderful interview that has uh, come from Alex Karanja and as well as Barry Moses, then please do so on hashtag Y in the Morning, hashtag Tuesday Entrepreneurship and go to our social media handles which are right there at the bottom of the screen shout out to us and ask what you want to ask and ask our guests as well Karibuni Sana right now I've got a guest who actually deals in a wonderful business it's called Expedition Masai Travels am I right and his name is Mr. Pankras Karema I want him to introduce himself properly especially the areas in which I may have missed yeah good morning viewers my name is Pankras Karema the CEO of Expeditions Masai Safari. Mm. And uh, this morning I'm very excited to be here so that we can uh, discuss about uh, travel. Yeah. And of course, the young, uh, young people and, uh, and entrepreneurship. Yes. So I'm very excited. And today we are going to talk so much about how people can be able to travel from uh, as low as uh, 3,000. You can commit uh, from as low as 3,000 hey. uh, per week and uh, be able to take a, a holiday for yourself. Really? So we are coming, we, 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 we are preaching the holiday for Mwananchi. That is uh, the gospel that we are preaching out there. You're so bringing the holiday to the Mwananchi? Yes, yes, because you, you gather there before the <laughs> Mwananchi were not, were not be able to go for holiday. They were not able to afford holiday. That's so very what true. We have come up, we have come up with a concept that each and every person in this country can be able to travel. That's very true. And yes. I'm glad that he actually brought up that the, you can actually start traveling with this company starting as low as 3,000 shillings. I know your ears are perked up. I know this is where you're now starting to get interested. And you guys, especially the youth, come on, do mob, maze. This is the interview for you, as well as learning some skills about entrepreneurship. Shall we jump right in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To Ruke Dani. Asasa. I want to get to know you a little bit. Mr. Karema, mm -hmm. the, you told me there's a very interesting way in which you started your business. Mm -hmm. And you started as a young, young man. You're still a young man. Mm -hmm. And so by the time you started, you were quite young. Do you mind sharing us the journey of um, the conception of your business and how it started, when you started it, and where you were yeah. when you started it, especially what was going on around you when you began? Right. Yeah, Expeditions for Safaris, as I tell people, it did not start like uh, our business. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, uh, yes. it started way back when I was in the university, University of Nairobi, uh -huh. as I was undertaking my course studies, political science and tourism. Uh -huh. uh, my, my passion for traveling was very light then. So um, expeditions never started like a business. It, used, it started like a hobby. Uh -huh. Yeah, I used to, we, we, we used to go out there to have fun with uh, people, my colleagues. Right. So way back from uh, first year yes. in the university. Uh -huh. So we could uh, uh, contribute something kidogo kidogo and then uh, carpool, uh, get a matatu, go for a hike. For instance, in Gong Hills, uh, there is another one called um, Old Donya Sabuk. You Old Donya Sabuk. Yeah, Old Donya Sabuk is in Fika. Uh -huh. So we could uh, be able to, 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 to contribute kidogo kidogo yes. and go out there so that at least we can be able to do something different mm. from uh, what uh, people used to do in the university. So you get uh, this passion uh, did not start that when I was in the university. It started way back when I was in high school. Mm. Because where I went to high school, I went to a uh, high school uh, by the name of Tree High School, which is mm -hmm. way back in our village, mm -hmm. which is inside the Mount Kenya forest. Okay. Yeah, so uh, when you are inside the forest, where and um, you want to sneak like uh, the way you, I don't know if you, you people used to sneak out of school. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we did. We used so, to sneak out of school. Yeah, so as we used to sneak out of school and go to do adventure. Ah, you see, uh, you go and Randa. Yeah, you, you, you get that uh, when the school is in the forest, yeah, nowhere you can be, be able to go. If right. you are sneaking out of school, you can only go for, for the adventure. So, you used to sneak out of school and go for the adventure. So when I came here in Nairobi, that is the University of Nairobi, you know, it's very different. And of course, there was a culture shock because I'm um, used to living in the forest. You get here, you are in a big city. Everything is modern. There is no forest around. And you have been used to go there, out there, have some adventure. Right. Each and every evening, sometimes weekend, the whole weekend, you are there out adventuring. Yeah. So you come here in Nairobi and things are a bit different. Mm -hmm. So when you tell people, like, uh, what you used to do in high school, because you used to talk with uh, my, my colleagues, what did you used to do in school? <laughs> and you, you get that, they used to get very excited when you tell them about their adventure. Mm -hmm. And they could ask, can you organize so that we can go back there and mm -hmm. uh, have some adventure? I but see, I but see. But it's quite far because it's all the way to Mount Kenya. 
So uh -huh. it's quite far to arrange from here to there. So we started small, small here uh -huh. around our environment. So mm. we could go there. Mm -hmm. And when you, we go there, take some photos, we, people could uh, get very excited. Even the young men that uh, we used to go out with them, they used to get very excited. Mm -hmm. So with the time, it got to a point that uh, now it is becoming serious each and every weekend you are out there. Each and every weekend you are out there. So we were looking forward for the weekend. So when it comes to Friday, you cannot even go out to live or to, to drink and, you know. And, and you know, I want fun. you to maximize on that. Mm -hmm. but, but, but first, before you go and maximize on that, mm -hmm. there's something important we missed in the introduction that mm -hmm. I want you to say. Mm -hmm. You have been a winner of an award in the yes. last year. Yes. And then we're going to come back to this particular issue because mm -hmm. I feel it's important for people to really understand mm -hmm. um, how well you've been doing mm -hmm. in your particular business. What's the name of the award that you won? Oh, personally, I was uh, voted, uh, that is 2018-2019 this year. Um, I was voted as Young Entrepreneur of the Year Kenya. Wow. <laughs> much respect, sir. Thank, thank you so much. Uh -huh. uh, these are our customers yeah. who appreciate the good work that we are doing out there. Because yeah. we have been uh, doing quite some work uh -huh. in the country mm -hmm. and making sure that uh, people can be able to travel. Okay. Yeah, and of course, with, uh, without paying so much money. Mm -hmm. So because of that, uh, and uh, customers, they voted for, for, for me as the uh -huh. young entrepreneur of the year. That's really 20, amazing. 2019. That's really Congratulations, company, by the way. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much. As a company, also, we have um, been able to win so many awards. Uh -huh. What are some of the awards? Uh, from Don't list all of them. <laughs> I know it can be a whole book. Yeah, Maybe three or four. Uh, the major, the, the, yeah, the major, the major ones. So, ones. as a company, we, in 2016, oh, that, that's where I attribute the, the, like, the, the, breaking, the, the, the breakthrough. It was 2016. Because in 2016, we managed to get voted as the, the socio, the, the, they, they were calling the award social media organization of the year. So what did that mean? It meant uh, they, 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 we used to have some awards which were called social media awards. Mm. So they were, they were rewarding the companies which were doing very well marketing their product out there. Because social media, when it came to Kenya, people were using social media for negative things. And you can remember even uh, during 2007, you know, social media was uh, used to, uh, to, to spread uh, uh, negativity 2013, as you remember. So in 20, uh, 2016, mm -hmm. there were these awards, which are awarding companies or individuals who are using social media to impact lives in the society. Um, right. People who are doing very well in social media, like uh, marketing their product out there. So Expedition Masai Safari is because at that time we did not have offices. Our offices were on Facebook. Wow, wow. So we used to, to, to market so much on mm. Facebook every now and then, mm. doing campaigns, trending online, mm. on Twitter, Facebook. Mm. So, so you, you really went hard and really focused on marketing and branding, marketing and branding. Yes. Before, yes, because you, before you really went on ground. Yes, because that is only what we, we could afford at that time. I see. Yes, so because of that, you get that uh, people will, of course, reward you if you mm. are doing something good. Mm. We were very young, and we, we did not even expect that we are going to win. Mm. We, because we are nominated against big brands oh. and not the people that we, we, we used to see on, uh, social, uh, on uh, maybe TV yeah, and yeah. the mainstream media, you know. Yeah. And then you are here, a young person, <laughs> you are told that now you are nominated against them. You don't know even how to campaign. This is the first award. Yeah. We campaigned uh, really hard mm. and we con convinced uh, so many people. It was a movement online. <laughs> and everybody that, uh, that we were surprised that when we got to that room, everybody knew that we are going to win. Oh, wow. <laughs> even, be, even before the, the, the awards were, were not two ways winning. Everybody I see, was I saying see. that you people, you, you have been campaigning so aggressively. Mm. So, so definitely the <coughs> wins will come to you. Yeah, and that award, by the way, we were nominated for Biz Yangu Award. Biz Yangu. Yeah, Biz Yangu, mm. which meant that uh, business young, yes, you know, yes. for young people. Yes. Mm. So when we, we went there, it was in Safari Park. So we, we went for the award, we are young. Jeff is here, he was the MC, mm -hmm. talking about uh, the company. Jeff, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. <laughs> so you get that uh, these big brands are there, big people you have never seen. Uh, were, you live. were you nervous? Yes, of course, very nervous. And we were not expecting to win the award. That's the, the small award, the, the busy young award. So we get to our award. And then the person who came even to read, the, the, the person who have won, did not read the expedition for such safaris. They read what was written on the envelope. Mm. Biziangu. So he said that uh, the winner of Biziangu Award is Biziangu. And then there is a company that we are competing with, which is called Bizina Kenya. So the Bizina Kenya CEO mm. had like Bizina Kenya. So he went and picked our award. And then the people in the room, they start, no, 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 no way. So even we are shocked we, without uh, knowing what to do. And then the people say, no, Jeff, he said, no, that envelope was not open. Just open the envelope. 
I and see. then here we are, Expeditions Masai Safari. Here you are, Expeditions yes. Safari. Ma and, Ma uh, wow, Masai Safaris. And, yes. and congratulations once again. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a great journey that, that, that shows what you had to go through to get the words that you got. Mm -hmm. um, but now I want to go back mm -hmm. to what we're talking about, which is very important. Mm -hmm. um, before we get to know mm -hmm. what exactly Expedition uh, Masai is yeah. all about, Mm -hmm. You said that mm -hmm. when you're in university, there were mm -hmm. things going around you that you were not participating in mm -hmm. because of the particular vision that you had. Mm -hmm. And once again, like we like to let you guys know, and, and on Tuesday Entrepreneurship, we like to let young people feel a bit encouraged and to let young people know like there's so many paths in this life you can follow. Yes. It's all about choosing the right one mm -hmm. or choosing the one that works for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so please tell me a little bit about what was going on around you at that time and why you chose to take a different path that got you here. Yeah, be, you, you get that uh, when you come to the university, there, there were so many, you know, um, uh, discussions back in the village, like uh, most people who go to the university, most times, like, uh, you don't become what people intend in to, to be in future. You get that, uh, like, uh, people when they come to the university, most times they get into bad things. You yeah. get into drugs, you get into uh, university politics, right. like uh, University of Nairobi, you know, with the politics and mm. these uh, drugs and everything, because there's a university in the city. Mm -hmm. So myself, I was l l looking to be different. So I was trying as much as possible to be, to be away from these activities because they were happening in school. And the only the way you can do when you're a young person, you have to look for something that you can be able to do, which will keep you focused with your studies and everything. Because I wanted to graduate first of all and be able to do something with my certificate, that is the degree. So Expedition Masai Safaris was not anywhere in the picture, like I was not making, a, like I'm in the university now, I'm making my own company. So you get that, it was like, uh, because of uh, you running away from these activities, the bad influence and everything, you want positive vibes, that is, and then uh, you're organizing uh, these um, events for people. We started uh, small, we were doing hikes around the, 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 the city, and then with the time you get that, these people will reward you if you are trustworthy. And that's what I encourage even the young people. When people can, if people can be able to trust you, of course, whatever you can do they will, will be successful. Because people used to contribute something small like 500, mm. yeah, they give you so mm. that you can go and organize. And you don't give them stories. If they have started contributing uh, Monday, by Saturday, already you have organized everything. You have contacted the Matatu guys because you used to, ha to, go, to go with the Matatu. You have contacted the Matatu guys, the place that you are going for the hike. And you are not charging them, by the way. So. You, 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 you have already arranged that, and you go and they have fun, and you bring them back. So because of that, uh, the, the, the word kept spreading around the university, that if you want to go somewhere, there are some people who organize this. You know. So we could get uh, overwhelmed by so many calls. Every, uh, sometimes yeah, you could not even be able to concentrate because people want to be taken somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Yeah. So it, it became overwhelming. And then uh, there is this friend of mine who is our director right now, He's called Lawrence. I went, we went to school with him. Uh, that is high school. So he, uh, he, he came all the way from where he was, because he was in a different university. Yes. But now he came to the University of Nairobi. So we, yeah. he was camping here. Like yeah. People knew that he, he is also in the university. So we were helping each other. Mm. So we were using the computer laboratory here in the University of Nairobi to do our business. So mm. I could sneak him in. Like, you know, he, you know, any comrade, uh, <laughs> so we get right, in right. and do the marketing uh, so online. You, so you broke a few rules <laughs> <laughs> to, Of course, to because things forward. are hard. Yeah, you get that yeah. things are not easy for young people. And if you don't fight for it, you, you might not get it. So That's true. when people see that... Those people are here. Yeah, of course, because you get that, uh, you, go, you, you must go for what you want. Yeah, and if you, you go for it, you get there are some people who will come and help your vision. You know? Very, please yes. repeat that again. <laughs> Viewers, <laughs> repeat that. It's yes. a very important statement. Yeah, you, you have to go for what you want. Yes. Because along the way, you get there are some people who will help you get where you want. Exactly. But if you just stay the, like that, you're saying that you're complaining, there's no job, there's no what I can do, you get that uh, you might be disappointed. Yes. So because of that, you get that uh, when you used to go to the laboratory, it was illegal for, for a stranger to come and get in. But these people, they see that there's no bad thing that you are doing, by the way, by the end of the day. They because are just seeing you on Facebook. They don't know what you are doing. So they think, okay, so you, we could just uh, talk with the uh, lab uh, tech guys, you know, this is my friend, he's mm -hmm. in a different campus, mm -hmm. he's just here, so he could uh, just be ready. Mm -hmm. So we, we, with the help of him, we were able to, to market more mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. And by the time that we are becoming now a free-fledged company, mm -hmm. we had already existing customers from the University of Nairobi, that is, mm -hmm. because we had covered all the campuses. 
<laughs> so be, <laughs> the time that I'm graduating, uh, we, we, I'm not going anywhere any out there to look for a job. I did not look for a job. Wow. We just now concentrated more and more. You already had customers within the university? Yes, yes, yes. Wow, you guys were hungry. Yeah. <laughs> the hunger was real, huh? Eh? Yeah, it, it was because where you come from, like where I come from, I come back from the village. I did not want to go back there, like after uh, completing the university, because you get that, that trend. You, you come to the university, you complete the university, and then when you are done, you go back to the village and start looking for a job. For me, I did not want to go back because I knew once you go back, coming back to Nairobi is very hard. And yeah. you know opportunities are here in Nairobi. Yes. So I encourage the young people to start small. Yes. You can start from what you have. Take advantage of what you have. Even that phone, that phone is very powerful. Yeah, take advantage of that phone that you have. The, that data bundle. Mm. Don't only do bad things with with, with, it. with those data yeah, bundles. Yeah, yeah, you can do something positive. <laughs> and of course, when you start doing something positive, there are some people who will come yes. and get you there it's where true. you want to be. Every so time people see you doing something <laughs> positive, they will come and help you out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They will, of course, they, 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 are, they, are, they, are, they are people who will discourage you. Of course. But they are right people that will take you to your mm. destiny. So but you, you know, get that. Yes. So you get that with the time. Yes. Now we have these uh, university people, we are doing hikes because we used to do day trips. Mm. So you have these people when they are coming for these day trips and we are attracting now even people from outside there. Mm -hmm. Like uh, people, are people who are not in the university, when they come they start asking, uh, we would like to go to Mombasa. Uh, you guys can you organize? And then you say yes, we can be able to organize and you don't have an idea. So what do you do? You get to Google very fast, you Google a hotel in Mombasa, you call. Sometimes you used to get crazy rates. You get that they're very expensive, and then you give a customer. But because you are friends, they will take. But they tell you, but improve on your rates because they are a bit expensive. They're a bit high. Yeah, they're a bit high. So we, because of that, the challenges and everything, you, you, you tend to negotiate more and find out how can I be able to do it so that it can be cheaper. Right. Because the challenges, and, and you know, mm. the challenges that mm. you face, mm. they teach you. Yes, that's And true. that's why you have to do something so that at least you can be able to face that challenge. Mm. When you face that challenge, you can be able to look for the solution. That's very true. Yes. So with and the time you, know you get that, uh, the, 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 these people, uh, they kept coming. The uh, people were coming from different corporates. The corporates were coming on board because a person would go and recommend our company. That there is a company that we go to. Uh, I, I used to travel. May, and we are looking for a team building. Maybe the, those guys, they can help. And you know, this is just your friend. So they recommend you, you go to a board and you have never even uh, presented there before. You are just TV and then you present there like, uh, can you be able to manage what, whatever you want? You tell them yes. And then because that opportunity, when you, you get that opportunity, you, you have to do it like there is no tomorrow. So when we go out there, we used to do like, it, it, it is our last time that we are doing it. Mm. So like it's your only job. Yes. Mm. So guys could... Like be you're not sure whether you're going to get another one. Yeah. So yeah. the guys who could be very excited from yeah. the corporates and they yeah. tell us, when you go back to the office, tell your bosses that we are very excited. Mm. Yeah. I see. And I'm <laughs> glad you have given us that history. But, mm -hmm. but now that we've talking about the backbone and the history of how Expedition Maasai came along, now we need to come to itself in this present mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And right now we've got your Instagram and your social media opened up. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and I'd like for us to look through it and then to talk as we're going through it. Mm -hmm. And as they're bringing it up, I'll just ask a quick question, you know, mm -hmm. um, now bringing it to the present. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you can say was, was the time that you felt, wow, this... I don't know if I can go with this anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you get that uh, in b business is not easy. Mm -hmm. Like uh, uh, so some challenges is of course is with the human resource. You get that uh, you get some people on board. Like you do the interview, you want uh, these people. You think that you share the vision, and then they come on board. When they come on board, and then you think uh, you get that they, they are not even uh, following what you want or your vision. Mm. They, are, they, they are trying to do their own thing. Sometimes it becomes hard, and you, you feel like you cannot continue. Mm. So there is a very big challenge with the, 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 the human resource, of course. I see. Yeah. And, and, and um, as they're bringing up your Instagram page, you mm. said something that I'm sure a lot of our viewers are very interested in mm. as they bring up the page. Mm. Mm. You said that you know you can there 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 you even cater to Mwananchi yeah. when it comes to travels and mm -hmm. holidays because mm -hmm. you said there was a point where the common Mwananchi couldn't even go on holiday. Yes. Holiday was for something for Uko or yeah, those yeah. people could afford. But now mm -hmm. there are ways in which you're providing holidays for people in every single income setup. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Can you talk a little bit more about that as they look mm -hmm. into your social media handle? Yes, uh, that uh, we were able to do that because we identified a gap when we came to the market. We we saw that uh, the only people who are able to travel are the people with money, like uh, those people in the society. And you get that uh, traveling is universal. Each and every person, even a young child, would like to travel. 
But and needs. Yes. Needs. Yeah. yeah Everybody is. needs to travel because there's an experience you learn. Uh, of course, even yeah. the exposure. Yeah. You get even the young people, like even if you're in school, you have to tell so that at least you can get to know what how things are done exactly. in other areas. So because of that, we saw that the, the big challenge was the money, of course. You get that uh, holidays are not cheap. Hmm. You get that, uh, f for instance, to pay for a package to a place like Mombasa, an average cost is around 18000 per person. Chai. Yes. You per are person. Two of you. Yeah, you are two of you. <laughs> because most, uh, mo mo most times people travel too, either with your sister, mm, with your friend, better half. You know. Better half. Yes. You get that people, t mostly they travel two of them. So 18,000 times two, that is 36,000. Yep. And maybe the person who is footing is only one, the pers one person who will pay. Mm -hmm. If you come and tell that person to pay 36,000 up front so that they can be able to go for that holiday, it becomes a challenge. It and does. you know, of course, yeah. we have uh, so many things that we are dealing with here in our country. Yes. So a holiday be becomes not a priority at that time. Mm -hmm. So what we introduced, because we want each and every person to travel, mm -hmm. that is holiday kwa mwananchi. We, we introduce holiday something. Kwa mwananchi. Yes, we introduce something that we call commit kidogo kidogo mm -hmm. payment plan. Ah, yes. Commit? Commit kidogo kidogo. Commit kidogo kidogo. Yes. Ah, it's even like a package. Yeah, yeah, it's like a package for, uh, for, wow. for Mwananchi. Uh -huh. So commit kidogo kidogo. So this commit kidogo kidogo payment plan yes. is whereby you can start paying for your holiday today uh -huh. and you'd like to take your holiday in 2020, not even this year. Yeah. So everything that, that's why I was saying, you, you can start paying as, as little as 3,000. So you can, you can pay today 3,000 and you want to pay that six in total. That is so you, you will start by paying today 3,000, and then after maybe one month, another 3,000. So it becomes easy to manage. So we don't want people to go and take a loan so that you can go for a holiday. Mm -hmm. You can be able to start planning now mm -hmm. and take your holiday in future. Okay, commit, and you get commit now, kidogo kidogo. And yes. then slowly by slowly they find, oh my goodness, I have 36,000. <laughs> I can take my, my crush. Yes. 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 So you get, and it becomes easier because you ha we have our pay bill number. Mm -hmm. When you express interest that you'd like to go for a safari, we, we talk, we agree, this amount of money that you're supposed to pay, and this is our pay bill number. And every time that you, you, you pay, you email the, 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 the confirmation message or you send the confirmation message to, the, to a consultant who is dealing with you so that uh, you are, you, you are, your money is accumulated. So it's like, like you are saving your money. Mm. And then when it comes to that time, you don't have any stress. Mm. And of course, with the time now, we have been able to expand. Yes. We, we have uh, branches here in Nairobi uh -huh. and Mombasa. Your branches are here and in Mombasa? Mombasa, yes. So two main offices? Yes, yes. Okay. You get that uh, people in Mombasa, they can be able to travel from Mombasa to here up country and Nairobi, of course. Mm. And um, the people who are in, uh, in Nairobi, they, we can be able to coordinate their safari in Mombasa very well, easily. And of course, international, like we do Dubai, we do Amer United States, Europe. Mm. You, you, you get that um, now it becomes very easy when we have presence in Mombasa because there are so many people who are coming from Mombasa and they want to travel. Mm. They want to go and experience what we are offering around mm. the world. What are some of the places you're interested in expanding to? Mm, in future? Yeah. Uh, we want to have an office in uh, Dubai, of course, mm -hmm. because <laughs> we have so many people who mm. go to Dubai. So we would like to have an office there so that uh, uh, planning and everything down there is very easy. We'll have a, a branch there in Dubai, and of course Europe and the United States. What about game reserves? Mm, uh, game reserves, yeah. uh, like the ones that we have here in country. Yes. <laughs> because yeah. I'm thinking Mombasa has yeah. the beaches, mm -hmm. Nairobi, we have a nice beautiful city and our nice national park. Yes. But, but people love, and my God, the mm -hmm. wildebeest migration. Yeah, migration is on. Right now, we, we, we're taking people to... Ma and by the way, do you know that uh, you can be able to go to Masai Mara for, uh, for only 13,500? For three days, everything and watch the, the wildebeest yes, migration. It's happening, which people are flying from everywhere <laughs> to come and see. I know people are yeah, just people looking are at us like, Why uh, would I want to look at wildebeest yeah. migrating? <laughs> yeah. But people are flying from everywhere to watch this stuff. Yes, yeah, you get that uh, now. We have so many people who are coming from mm. so uh, various parts of the world to come and witness the wildebeest migration. Mm. And uh, you being here in the country is very easy for you. Because you don't have to pay like they are paying. They are paying so much money. Mm. You get mm. so that they can get there. So for for Mwananchi, it's only thirteen thousand five hundred, which they can even uh, be able to pay. Kidogo, kidogo. Per person. Yeah, kidogo, kidogo. And you know this will be this migration will ha be happening this month, uh, September, and October. So we have like three months. Ends in October. Yeah. Mm. You might bump into some celebrities, by the way. They yeah, like there are seeing so many this people. stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah.
Yeah, so you guys, um, I don't know if we're going to be able to see your social media handles, <laughs> but but as we continue to talk, maybe they shall pop it up at the very end, at the very end of the interview, mm -hmm. maybe in closing and wrapping up. You know, mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of things you have brought up in here. You brought up your failures. Mm -hmm. You've brought up some of the things you have learned along the way. Mm -hmm. You've brought up packages in which you're catering to people mm -hmm. who are not able to afford certain things. Mm -hmm. You've also brought up things to do with the different decisions in life mm. that you one can make mm -hmm. that can really change your life. It's yeah. just a matter of a one decision away. Mm -hmm. And I think that's absolutely brilliant and fabulous. Mm. And as we're winding up, is there maybe something you can guide our youths in? Because right now there's a lot of, uh, how can I say, misplaced priorities. Mm -hmm. A lot of priorities are just like people in university think university is time to party. Yes, university you should have fun. And even after university you should have fun. But there's a balance, man. There's a balance needed. Mm -hmm. You always have to always do the positive things first and do these other things later on. What would you like to say about that as a businessman who has won awards, <laughs> who is a CEO? What would you say? What's, what, what's your expert advice? So I encourage young people to look at, uh, at what they can be able to do and start small, of course, because you get that young people that uh, we are not that patient. I want to start a business right now and get profit right now and drive a Range Rover tomorrow. Now, yes. You know? So that is not possible. Mm. That can only and happen in a movie. And that is something that is very wrong with society. Yes. I don't know when young people will get it. Mm. Uh. For, for you to be able to to, uh, to to break through or to get what you want, like uh, you, you look at even the, these people that we admire, because uh, they, they have been there uh, uh, for some time. Mm -hmm. For you to be able to make it in business, give it five years. Yes. At that time, you can be able to see A minimum, the by the way. Yeah, yeah, a minimum of five years. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy. And of course, a business is not a way, uh, people think that uh, entrepreneurship is the way to go because there is money and everything. There is a lot of stress, by the way. <laughs> and uh, you are managing people, you are managing resources, and uh, they, you get, you feel, sometimes it, it, it gets, sometimes you feel like there is nobody who cares for you. Yeah. They only care for themselves, the, yeah. for themselves. Yes. You get the, the people that uh, you, you are working with, the suppliers, the, mm. the employees and everyone, mm. but you have to provide for them because you mm. become like a father. You become, you become like a parent and you have to take care of each and every person. So you start small with whatever you have. Mm -hmm. You can start as small as anything. Mm -hmm. Start, but start today because now the youth, you get that. You, s you have very good ideas. By the way, people have s very good ideas. And there are so many companies that are get, uh, they get registered every day to the, in the registrar of company. You, you get that people register so many companies per, year, uh, per, day. per day. But these companies, when they, 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 they are registered, they don't, uh, they don't proceed beyond uh, registration. Mm -hmm. Because of one thing, you you pay, people go there, you want to start something, you have a very good idea, and then you don't know how to start because you think that you need uh, huge capital. And then you go to these banks, and uh, these people, they, sometimes you can get complication if you are a startup. There's no one who wants to work with a startup because they're asking for a cash flow. Give us cash flow for a period of six months minimum so that we can yeah. see if you qualify for any finance.